What is up guys, you maniac gamers? I just wanted to go over some quick things on how to optimize Star Wars Battlefront 2 to be able to play with the most amount of frames and the best playing experience. So if you don't know, the way to um, show your frame rate is you hit that squiggly line in the left corner right under escape. It'll be there and the console command should come up. It's right next to the one. Um, and then you draw it in P-E-R-F-O-V-E-R L A Y dot D R A W F P S space one. So per F overlay dot draw FPS space one. It's the same as in the other Battlefront game. And you hit enter. Then you push that squiggly line again to get it out. And in the right hand corner, you'll see here the frame rate. Now, right now, my frame rate is 113 frames per second in the menus. It usually gets over 80 um, in game. And it actually it's getting about a hundred usually in game and I'll show that in a different video or in my gameplays. But what you want to do is you want to go to video and really you want to make sure the defaults are set up. It's just honestly the default settings are the best. Make sure DirectX 12 is off. I turned on DirectX 12. I reset the game. It looked kind of sharper, but my frame rate dropped incredibly to like 10. I'm not even kidding, and it was unplayable. Um, V-Sync, you don't really need to touch that. You can turn it on to, it'll automatically drop your frame rate to your screen refresh rate, which will kind of help somewhat, but I kind of like to get more frames, so that's why I leave it off. I have it as not custom, but you want to have it on um, whatever the auto is. If you want to get the frame rate, obviously you can always lower it and try to play with the graphics quality and resolution scale to get more. If you have a low end PC, you can set it to like 80, you know, or whatever you want. I'm just going to reset. So reset it to defaults and then make sure that this matches your monitor, which I think this matches mine. And the brightness can stay the same. Default DirectX 12 will always be off. Now, yes, I want to keep these settings. You can also, if your video is really low, you can try lowering the graphics like that, the full screen resolution. But, um, see, it'll look a little bit weird. It'll just stretch it out. And I believe that's all there is to that in-game. Um, but outside of game, there's a couple of things that you can do. You can disable in-game origin overlay. Um, so if you want to do that, you can. Let me show you where that is. You're going to go on to applic Origin, you're going to hit Application Settings, and you're going to click Origin In-Game, Enable Origin In-Game. You can disable that. That'll um, also help you get a little bit more frames. The other thing is you want to make sure all this is closed out to as many as few as possible. This is my NVIDIA settings, or if you have AMD, it should be AMD here. That's Origin, which you can after you start playing close. Um, but it might be a little bit harder to um, play with friends if you disable in-game origin. Just a thought. Also, turn off Steam in the background. You don't want to have Steam or Blizzard Net or Firefox or iTunes or Spotify running. That'll eat up frames and make your gameplay less. Unless you have a really powerful processor. Like, I could handle it playing music in the background, but I'd rather not. So I really hope you found that helpful, and I thank you for watching this video. If you have any more questions about any PC gaming tutorials or anything that you need help with, feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. Zemaniac out.